All right, what's up you guys? So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to use a food scale. So we're gonna go over multiple examples. So let's get started. All right, so right now what we have here is our food scale. Now there's multiple brands and everything. I use this one, it's very portable, light, skinny, very easy to basically store anywhere, okay? So on the right side, we have our power button and or our zero button or tear button. So zero or tear, some food scales may be different. Basically, this just means to zero out anything that's on the scale. So for example, we're gonna turn this guy on, it's gonna do its thing, and right now it's in ounces. And we'll talk about like units of measurement in a second, but if I was to put this bowl on there, it should move, okay? So right now, 11.1 ounces. Now, if I, obviously, I don't, I'm not, we're, we're not gonna eat this bowl, right? So we're gonna zero this out or tear it out. So depending on your food scale, it may differ, but I'm just gonna press this, and then it zeroes out. So right now it's only weighing anything that, that's inside the bowl. So if I push on here, it's gonna weigh it, take it out, it goes back to zero. So that's what tearing means. So let's go on with a couple of, of examples. All right, so let's, let's say our meal plan says that we wanna have 200 grams of potatoes per meal, okay? What we're gonna do is take some potatoes, right? We're just gonna put them inside of our bowl. Remember that's already teared. It's not weighing the bowl. It's only weighing whatever else is on top of it. So right now we're just gonna weigh this out. So this is roughly 206 grams. So when we go into my fitness pal here, which the screen should be recording it right now, we go ahead and what we do is we go to add to food and then press the barcode scan button. And then here, as you can see, I'm filming it right now. Here's the potatoes, 207 grams. We're gonna take our potatoes and we're gonna scan the barcode, okay? The serving size says 148 grams. However, we're measuring it differently. So what we do is we change the serving size to one gram and then on the next number of servings, we, we put whatever it says on the food scale. So we're gonna put 207 grams, so 207. Boom. So these potatoes that we just weighed out right here that you can see on the camera, this amount of potatoes is 140 calories, 29.4 grams of carb, zero grams of fat, and 4.2 grams of protein. We add that to our MyFitnessPal and that is how we track it. So this is one example of how to track macros with a food skill. Let's go ahead and do another example. All right, so another example is with liquids. So right now I have some almond milk here. And so it says that there are 240 milliliters per serving, if you guys can see that. So what we're gonna do is I just have a cup here. We're gonna turn this on. This is another way to zero it out. So it's zero grams. So what we can do is hold the unit button. So the unit button changes obviously the units of measurement. So we have fluid ounces, milliliters, ounces, and grams. So for 240 milliliters, we're obviously gonna switch it to the milliliters option, okay? So if we only want one serving of this, that's 240 milliliters. So what we're gonna do, pour in enough until there's only 240 milliliters in here. So obviously you don't have to be this accurate. Okay, so 241 milliliters in this cup right here. So according to this, if we scan the barcode and everything, it would be 40 calories, three grams of fat, one gram of carbs, one gram of protein. Then we insert it into my fitness pal by scanning this barcode and then that's it. And so that's how you do it for liquids. You do this with milk or any similar kind of liquid or yogurt or something. This is the exact same way you would do it. Put it in a bowl, then tear it, then put the yogurt in or the milk or the egg yolk or whatever it is. This is how you would do that obviously with milliliters or grams or whatever the serving size measurement is. All right, so now we have chicken breast in here. So this is just raw chicken breast. It has a brand, however, I threw away the brand that it came in, so I can't scan it, right? So this is a good example. So what we're gonna do and for this boneless chicken breast is we're gonna go to add food, then search for the food since we don't have the packaging for the chicken breasts, right? So we're just gonna type in the food. We're gonna do boneless, oops, boneless, chicken breast. I already have some here because I've had it before, but for the example, so boneless chicken breast, right? Type that in. And as you can see here, there are multiple options. So we're, let's just choose the first one, okay? It's not always accurate, but let's just do it. So we're gonna change the serving size to ounces because that's what this is in right now. Okay, so we're gonna go to ounces. Then we're gonna do, let's say we wanna have whatever this chicken breast is, however much this is, 
that's how much we're gonna have. So let's do that first. So a way to measure this out is to have it already on there, right? But when we take it off, it goes into the negative direction. So right now it says negative 11.2 ounces when we take this entire thing off. Put it back on, it goes back to zero. Now, if we take out just the chicken breast, that will tell us how much this weighs. So just the chicken breast, it's only 9.8 ounces. So if I wanna have 9.8 ounces of chicken, we go back to our thing here and we just type in 9.8. Boom, that's how you do it for chicken breast, okay? All right, and so that's what you would do for basically every food, rice, potatoes, yogurt, milk, egg yolks, and literally anything. Anything that has a barcode, you can just scan it, it'll tell you the serving size and you just weigh it out. It's really that simple, but I know, but after a couple of days of just doing this for every meal, you're just gonna get used to it. It's gonna become second nature and it's just gonna become that much easier to track macros accurately and to also make sure you're in a caloric deficit, a caloric surplus, whatever your goal is, it's just gonna be that much easier to stick to that goal and the faster you do this, the faster you learn this, the faster you will see results. So hope this video helps. If you have any questions at all, email me or leave it in the comments below if this video ends up on YouTube. But thanks for watching, you guys. Hope this helps. I'll see you guys in the next one.